Hi, my name is John Peters, and you may have seen me build this table on YouTube. I made a three-part series, and it's been out there for a while. But before this table was finished, we used this table. And the cool thing about this table is that it's designed to easily collapse without any tools and then be stored in a closet or under the bed. And the reason why I came up with this design was uh, when my wife and I were first married, we lived in a small one-bedroom apartment in New York City. And there was really no room for a table like, uh, like this, or any dining table. So uh, we still wanted to have people over, so I made this table. And when we were not using the table, we would simply lay it flat and slide it under the bed. When we weren't using the table, we would place the table upside down on a moving blanket and then disassemble it. And the parts, the legs, and the apron would fit on the tabletop. We'd fold the blanket over and then slide it under the bed. I designed the table to be held together with a mortise and tenon and a locking pin, a through mortise and tenon. And how that would work is there's one side of the legs that had the apron attached, and I would stand that up on the bottom of the tabletop. Then I would take my other apron, you can see the through tenon here, and I would slide that through the mortise, and then I'd take a rosewood locking pin, and that would fit into the tenon and lock the leg in place. Once the apron's assembled, the top was attached to the apron with these twisting cleats. And the cleats twist into a slot that I've created with the biscuit joiner. The cleat is also made of rosewood. It's 3 eighths of an inch thick and it's tapered to an eighth of an inch to twist into the groove created with the biscuit joiner. With the six cleats now locked in place, the table is assembled and can be turned over and picked up. Well, I can't believe it's almost been 15 years since I built this table. And I still remember it being a fun project. Anyway, I hope you got some useful information out of this uh, video, and I hope you tune in next time. Thanks for watching.